The first step is to boil water in a stock pot or double boiler. Next, weigh the desired amount of soy wax chips, then add color chips for desired intensity of color. Transfer those to a melting pot. Next, you're going to attach wick stickers to an appropriate size wick depending on the diameter of the containers you're using. You center the wick on a bullseye and pat it down to make it sturdy. When the water is hot, place the melting pot in and stir the wax color mixture until it becomes liquid. Test the color for desired intensity and add more chips as needed. Once the temperature has cooled to 120 degrees, add one ounce of fragrance for every pound of wax used. Stir it well and let it cool until it becomes opaque and starts to thicken. Pour the cooled wax into containers and secure the wicks with a stabilizer. Extra soy wax can be remelted and poured into tea lights. Add tea light wicks as they start to firm. To clean the pot after all the wax is used, simply wipe it out and wash it with hot soapy water. Let the candles set overnight and trim the wicks the next day to a quarter inch. That's how you make soy candles.